last week in PEI, and a controversy over some inflammatory remarks about the quality of this year's crop of Newfoundland showcase applicants. The remarks were made by the founder of the East Coast Music Awards, but it appears he stands alone in his opinion. Friday night in Charlottetown, and the Punters, a young Celtic band from St. John's, have taken dead aim at their audience. An audience they hope includes a few talent scouts, promoters, and media. It's called a showcase, part of the East Coast Music Conference, and a new band's best shot at the big time. A shot the Punters very nearly didn't get to take. They were one of a dozen or so Newfoundland bands rejected for this year's showcase event. Uh, it wasn't so much we didn't get one at the time, it was the fact that nobody got one. And that kind of grinded us a bit, you know. Uh, so, I mean, through a lot of hard work with the MIA and all the boys down there and, and girls, it was great, they did a great job. So then, when we got one, it was not only, yes, great, we're going, Newfoundland's represented also. It was not part of the main showcase event, but a last-minute addition, hastily pulled together to appease an angry Newfoundland music industry. The East Coast Music Association said it was an oversight that needed fixing, so the punters were invited to appear, as were Newfoundland folk musicians Christina Smith and Jean Hewson. And Potato Bug, an alternative band out of St. John's. We had to find out, like, uh, the day before a seat sale was over, that, like, we were going, and we were waiting hours and hours to get from the for the ECMA to get back to Dennis so we can find out if we should go buy tickets. Because we really, like, we've been trying three years to go and finally, like, the opportunity came up after trying so hard. So it's good that we finally got accepted. The reviews were good too the next day in the Charlottetown paper. And offers of bookings poured in. It was sweet justice for John Hutton and Dennis Parker of Newfoundland's Music Industry Association, which led the fight for the Newfoundland showcases. But uh, I, was, I was deeply shocked at uh, the, uh, the first time I, I saw the list because of the list that we had of the people that applied through Newfoundland, the people that are residents of Newfoundland. Um, out of the 13 acts, there were none chosen, and now we've got three of those here, and uh, all three of them have got glowing reviews, So, uh, which is something we were told that it wouldn't happen, but it has. We got our acts here, and they did a great job, and that's the bottom line. And that should have been that, if it weren't for the comments of this man. Rob Cohen of Halifax founded the East Coast Music Awards nearly 10 years ago. He was also contacted about the showcase controversy. In a phone interview with Mac Furlong of CBC Radio's Weekend Art Show, he made the following remarks. The fact of the matter is, the bands aren't good enough. They don't, com they don't come up to any kind of national or regional level. Showcasing won't help them. There isn't a talent buyer in the region who's going to book any of them for a show. There's not a record company in the world who's going to sign them up for anything. Okay, there's not a media person who's going to give them a favorable review. But they've been given showcases now. They have showcases. Because, just actually, Mac, to shut them up. Cohn's remarks infuriated Newfoundland musicians, who viewed them as a deliberate and unnecessary insult. We put it this way, I don't think we should have an inferiority complex in Newfoundland about the quantity or quality of our talent. And, uh, you know, that was shown here tonight, not, like I said, by Jean, Christina, Potato Bug, and also, we got to come up here, great, but I mean, that's not half, that's not, sorry to use a coin phrase there, but tip of the iceberg of what's really in Newfoundland, you know. It, maybe it just wasn't what they were looking for, but there's a far cry from being what you were looking for and not being good enough, if you see what I mean. So it could be that he just took an unfortunate turn of phrase when he had the interview, but, uh, but he quite emphatically said that we weren't good enough which I found actually a little bit insulting. And, and, and a bit puzzling to Steve Wickin of Philadelphia. He reviews folk music for one of the world's top music magazines. Dirty Linen is read in most English-speaking countries throughout the world. A couple of months ago, Wickin reviewed the debut CD of a Newfoundland musician named Christina Smith. And so it was, it was sent to me uh, actually pretty blind. I didn't know who Christina mm -hmm. was. Uh, I'd heard of Jean as a singer, but I didn't, you know, didn't know very much about them. But um, 
it was just good music. I mean, they're just good musicians, and and that's all that's all I had to know. You know, I listened to it and I liked it. Painters of the year this year are the people. Even Great Big Sea, the Newfoundland band who took top ECMA honors this year as entertainers of the year, couldn't resist the opportunity to make a point or two of their own. I just would like to say thank you to everybody, and uh, I'd like to uh, donate, dedicate this award to the many Newfoundlanders who didn't quite make it this far this year to the ECMAs. Thank you all. Thanks to everyone who has the faith in the music of Newfoundland and Labrador. Thanks. Good night. Even if you don't Fred Brokenshire seconds that motion. He's one of Newfoundland's representatives on the ECMA Board of Directors, yeah. one who helped work out the deal for the extra showcase. And he says Rob Cohen was not speaking for the ECMA. No, I w I, look, I was absolutely appalled and I was disgusted with Rob Cohn's comments. He just poured gasoline on a fire. He had no authority to speak on that because he is not the one that is speaking for the showcase committee. Rob is a very passionate and committed and dedicated guy, but he's a loose cannon. And why he got drawn under that is beyond me. But no, that does not reflect uh, the ECMA board. That is Rob Cohn's opinion and his only. <laughs> As for Cohn himself, we caught up with him on the last night of the ECMA conference. Ignoring instructions from the ECMA not to speak any more on the issue, he did, claiming CBC Radio in St. John's had misrepresented his remarks. That's the way that the person who did the interview cut the interview to make me sound like that. He, he misrepresented continually what I said. I have a tape of the interview, and uh, he misrepresented what I was saying, and that's the way he edited it to make me sound like that. What I said was there was nothing outstanding. What I said was there was nothing that was ready for the people that we were showcasing for this year. And, uh, you know, it came out different on air. Mm -hmm. Ingrid Fraser, who produced the interview, says Cohen's remarks could not be misinterpreted. The only editing we did in it was to shorten it. When we shortened his interview, he was saying exactly what he said uh, on the telephone to Mac a week previously during the interview itself and that is what appeared on the air. We did not have to edit Mr. Cohen in any way to uh, show uh, him to be a somewhat arrogant, undiplomatic person. And he has no regrets about anything he said. I don't regret anything. It's been a great weekend, hasn't it? And on that score, at least, Jean Hewson agrees. She says, politics aside, it was worth the trip to share her music with those who appreciate it most. We also had the jam of our lives last night with people like Ray Legere, J.P. Cormier, Scott McMillan. It was a wonderful time. They were really enthralled by the Newfoundland tunes we were doing. So, you know, to have musicians of that caliber sit down and listen to us and say that they enjoyed what we were doing made everything that Rob Cohn said, you know, completely immaterial. One final note from the East Coast Music Association, a word of advice to next year's showcase hopefuls. It's never too soon to start a bit of self-promotion in next year's ECMA's location, Moncton, New Brunswick. The premise being that recognition comes not to those who wait for it, but to those who work for it. And that's intermission for today. Tune in again on Thursday.